So I started walking over there on Lincoln Road and I'm trying to get to Ford Street. But it's not even on the horizon. I don't know if I'll make it, folks. And what with all these interruptions and obstacles along the way, uh, I haven't had a cappuccino in hours. I think I have to stop and take a rest. Possibly even book a hotel for a couple hours. I mean, I've been walking for almost 15 minutes and I've only been two blocks, three blocks at the most. It's not like walking on concrete with shoes now. It's on the sand, it's very, it's very difficult because your foot your foot gets sunk into the sand and you gotta lift it back out. It takes a lot of energy. And all I've had to eat is an acai bowl and you know little uh, samosas with lentil soup. I think I need to take a break. Uh, really I don't know what I was thinking. I said I'll, I'll walk home, but I should have Ubered. This is really, the sun is quite warm. It's, uh, I, I think it's a, a little too warm. I mean, there is a nice breeze blowing, but still I, I may have to jump in and take a swim. But then, you know, my, my shorts will be wet while I'm walking. I, I could get chafing. Well, just as I was thinking I couldn't take another step, I came around the, the bend and I think I see the green lifeguard station at the horizon there. But it's still some ways, folks, so keep your fingers crossed for me. And so you have some idea what I'm up against and you don't think I'm being just a big wuss. You see that jungle expanse over there? I gotta get to the other side of that and some more and I could step on a jellyfish. You know, a friend of mine stepped on a jellyfish one time. He said it stung like a bitch for hours. Gotta watch every step. I can't tell you how long I've been walking here. Probably a uh, total of 15 whole minutes, you know? Barefoot, I don't have a towel, I don't have a bottle of Evian to keep me going. Just an iron will. You know, maybe I should rent a jet ski. Be a lot faster. Because you see way off in the distance that green lifeguard stand? I still gotta get there and it's just a little, it's a little speck. You know, in a cruel twist of fate, it's sort of like a, what do they call it, a mirage when you're stranded in the desert. When I saw that green Lifeguard stand, I, I thought I was home free, but actually it's that third green lifeguard stand. So I'm gonna be walking maybe another 10 minutes. So I finally made it to the first green lifeguard stand. I think I'm gonna push it, power through, make it to that one, get home, write my congressman about the painting of the lifeguard stands, which is very misleading before a yoga class. Have a nice tall glass of water and thank good Lord I made it this far. 
Not a joke out here. You can hear the children screaming. See, most people are pretty smart. They come well equipped. They bring plenty of beverages. They even makeshift shelters from the sun. They don't leave far from their hotel or their car. And they don't try foolhardy trips like mine. Here's a guy who tried to walk and didn't make it. As I'm nearing my goal, ladies and gentlemen, I don't want to say I've made it yet, but I'm not a quitter. I want to say what I've learned. So I would counsel you, do not attempt this yourselves. I've been training for this my whole life. I've been called a beach bum for being a dreamer. And uh, I got to say, though it was difficult at times, and I was tempted to give up, what did I learn along the way? Well, I guess it was, it was fun. It was kind of fun in a way, uh, maybe kind of beautiful, but uh, very difficult, very difficult indeed. Well, looks like I made it. I was never a quitter. I kept fighting for what I believed in, and now I think I deserve a swim.